Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to another video about the new football game online performance test, the early version of PES 22, whether or not some of the community like to admit it. Um, we're going to discuss whether or not PES 2022 or whatever it's going to be called is going to be cross-platform. So as always, before we get started with this video, if you're not already subscribed to Welcome to Gaming, then please do consider hitting subscribe with notifications on. So many of us have noticed whilst playing the new football game online performance test that in the matchmaking screen, you have a symbol of the PlayStation. We're wondering if this means there is gonna be some form of cross-platform with the new eFootball or PES game. Now, so far, I've only matched with people on PlayStation, and it has me wondering if uh, the cross-platform that possibly we might see will just be between PS4 users and PS5 users. But, what do you think about cross-platform? Would it be a good thing for Pro Evolution Soccer? Personally, I think it would be really good because it would open up the player base. As we know, PlayStation tends to be the, the key area for PES players, but there are people that play it on PC and on Xbox, and it would be really cool to be able to play against those people. It would help with matchmaking and mean that more players are playing all at once. We wouldn't have any of those long moments on four-star matches in my club where we're waiting 10 minutes to get a game. On the back of this, the other thing I'd like to mention is that are we going to be able to play people from all across the world? Is it not going to be region locked anymore? It'd be really cool to be able to play my friends from uh, North America in like friendly matches and things, which isn't really something that we've been able to do previously. So what do you guys think? Do you think that this next football game from Konami is going to be cross-platform? And if it is, do you think that is a good step for the series? Let me know in the comments below. Like I say, a really quick video this time. And I just want to address some of the concerns regarding the new online performance test thingy majig. I was quite critical in my original video on it and it was an instant reaction. I played four games. I was uh, very concerned on what I saw. But on reflection, having played a few days of it on stream and speaking with other members of the community, we do have to temper our expectations with what we've seen so far. It is purely a test for the online servers. That doesn't mean that we can't be concerned with some of the gameplay aspects. If it is an early build of the game, then of course we can be critical of certain things. But I think we need to wait now until July 21st to see what the announcement is, to see when we're going to get a proper demo. And hopefully uh, the positives that we've taken from it will still be in place and some of the negatives will have been addressed. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.